assalamu alaikum today i am going to discuss a very important topic that is the post mortem lividity post mortem staining hypostasis and it is also called uh, uh, we have many other names for this like uh, uh, we can say is sagulation pubesis and liver mortis okay hypostasis is basically a very important sign of death and it is actually the reliable sign of death other signs of death may occur in other conditions in the body but post mortem lividity is a reliable sign of death i am uploading i will try to upload the lectures of forensic medicine as there are very few uh, or there is a uh, very few lectures on internet and uh, youtube about uh, forensic medicine and there are many students uh who find it difficult to uh, manage their forensic medicine so i will try to uh, cover or i will try to upload uh, lectures on post mortem uh, on uh, forensic medicine so that people you should uh, have an idea of it because uh, i find it difficult i find forensic medicine difficult and uh, i i find i found no lectures on internet that's why i am trying to i will try to give my concept to you so that it may help you so today i am uh, giving you an introduction of post mortem lividity it is a very important topic of forensic medicine and it comes in paper many times so i will uh, give it a thorough and uh, brief uh, i will give a thorough and brief explanation because uh, i will give a thorough uh, about this so that you may get the concept easily so post mortem lividity is actually what is post mortem lividity so after death after death when there is stagnant uh, or there is pooling of blood pooling of blood or when there is and when there's a, a flaccidity or loss of tone and there is loss of tone loss of tone of the blood capillaries loss of tone of the blood capillaries then there is occurrence of post mortem lividity occurrence of post mortem lividity lividity post mortem lividity lividity is also called hypostasis because it develops due to the gravitational pull of due to the gravitational pull in the dependent part of the body so what is post mortem lividity so after death when there is a decrease in tone of the uh, blood capillaries there is stagnation of blood there and due to this stasis of blood there and due to the stasis of blood there there occurs uh, the blood pools there in the dependent part of the body like when a body is present in supine position during death then on the back there will be uh, patches for there will be the patch formation there will the patch formation the patch formation will be like that some part will be decolorized decolorized and some part will be excessively uh some parts will be decolorized and some parts will be uh colored due to the presence of blood there this is called post mortem lividity post mortem lividity is not uh, due to the coagulation post mortem lividity does not uh, due, uh, due to the coagulation it is actually due to the stasis of blood this point should be clear in mind that post mortem lividity should be uh due to the Uh, stasis of blood and not due to the coagulation we will go through it one by one first of all we will uh, discuss what is the mechanism of post mortem lividity so mechanism of post mortem lividity is basically uh, that when there is a, a decrease in tone decrease tone leads to stasis leads to stasis and that stasis lead to uh, and that uh, stasis leads to presence of presence of patches presence of patches in dependent part of the body dependent parts of the body out of which 
some are colored and some are decolorized and this is called postmortem vividity and it is due to stasis of blood and not due to coagulation this is postmortem lividity so now we will move towards the condition in which postmortem lividity uh, this is postmortem lividity develops in sequence of events okay first of all in 1 to 3 hours there are presence of mortal patches mortal patches means small patches mortal patches after that in 3 to 6 hours there will be big patches or larger patches in 6 to 8 hours there is fixation of fixation of lividity now what is fixation fixation of lividity is actually the state after which the lividity doesn't change and it remains as such after death and when you try to change when you and after that when even you change the position of the body the patches does not change their shape and it indicates the and it gives us a many important information about the position of death like if the body is in stasis is in supine position during death and postmortem staining has been fixed on the back and when you try to remove that postmortem staining by applying thumb pressure uh, by applying thumb pressure and there is no disappearance of postmortem debris that indicates that the person at the time of death was in supine position after that we will talk about the distribution pattern of postmortem lividity distribution pattern is very important like uh, in certain cases when the body is in contact with a certain surface then the postmortem lividity will not be present at the, at the parts where the body is in contact with the surface and this type of lividity is called contact flattening so that part of it is called contact flattening likewise there are cases when the body at the time of death or a body or dead body is not on even as on a even surface is not on a even surface and or it is wrapped in a tight packing then in this in these cases there will be a band like appearance of lividity and this will be called uh, this will be called webesis this will be called webesis in other word and also it also uh, like in case of hanging postmortem lividity is uh, is present in dependent parts of the body like in hands uh, in genitalia and in feet one of the most important uh, one of the most important uh, distribution pattern occurs in case of drowning in case of drowning when there is uh, moving water there is no postmortem lividity because the body keeps on floating and there is no time of fixation of the lividity so there will be no lividity but in case of stagnant water there will be lividity in head in head region and in the upper part of the body that is in case of drowning this was all the extent of postmortem lividity extent of postmortem lividity depends on extent of postmortem lividity depends on many factors like how much blood is present at the time of how much blood is present in the circulation at the time of death more will be the blood in the circulation more will be the staining postmortem staining or postmortem lividity also fluidity of blood more the blood is fluid more there is fibrinolysin lesser the coagulation and more will be the 
staining due to the stasis of blood color of postmortem staining depends on color of postmortem staining depends on few factors these factors are the color of blood color of blood color of 